Hello everyone, today's tutorial is how to create a complicated media agent with a custom template. We're going to create an agent that will take an article and will create an Instagram story with a quoting theme. For example, we're going to take this article from Billie Eilish, we're going to draft and we're going to quickly create an Instagram story that will look like this. Let's get right to it. The first thing we want to do is come here on the Agents tab and press Add Media Agent and create New. We will then be taken to the Media Agent Editor where we will have to create our template. First thing is I will add a background image which will be that of Billie Eilish. I will configure it to be of the dimensions that we want. I will give it a name, main image. And I'm going to now put a placeholder on the image just for me to be able to see it better. So here we have our wonderful Billie Eilish. The second thing we want to do is we will create some background effects for the image. So we'll come here and we will add a background layer. We'll name this background one. And we will give a nice opacity of 20 here with the color being white. Now we will add another background. We will copy this duplicate layer and we will name this background linear and here we will create a linear color where we, we will adjust the, the angle to be 180 and we will quickly change the colors we will add here dark with 80 opacity and then here white with 10 opacity and we will make the stop be at around 80. This will give a nice dark to white effect on our image in order to not make it boring. Then we need to add the logo of our company. So I will add an image layer here and I will upload our logo. I upload the logo and I will come here just a bit. I will contain it and I will add a 16 uh, border radius. And I will place it in the middle of the layer. In order to make this logo stay the same for every single draft, what we have to do is come here at the name and name it static logo. This means that whenever we do a draft, this logo will remain the same. Whereas, for example, the main image, because it doesn't have the static word to it, will change and will get generated with a prompt. Let's add some other layers to the mix. First, we will add a text layer, which will have the name of the artist or the person right here. So we will make this 50 pixels. We will add an inter light font and we will add a background. The background will be dark. and the text itself will be white. The background, we want the paddle padding double and radius double. So we come here, we align in the center and a placeholder text is Billie Eilish. This is the name of the person that gives the quote. So we rename this to name 
Then we want to actually give the quote itself. So we'll create a new text layer and we'll bring it here. We will add background. White is good. Let's do double double as well. Let's do this time 50 as well here. And we're going to use inter bold for this one. Going to make it bigger. Right. And we're going to put some placeholder text here. So if you have money, you should probably give it to the people in need. Thank you very much. Now, this is good. We're going to make the bit smaller. We're going to align it in the center. This is very good. And what remains is to show that this is a quote. And in order to do that, we're going to add a, another picture layer. And we're going to upload the quote icon here. In order to do that, you see the quote icon. And behind the quote icon, we're going to add some background but first of all let's rename this to main copy uh, this to quote background and the quote itself remember we need to rename it to static quotes because static means that this image will not change together with every draft so we come here we group this nicely. We give some nice 52 nice degrees. Here we we'll give some border radius of 32 to make it nice and make it really look like it's a quote. We're gonna group them together. We're gonna bring them right above the quote itself. And here we have our template ready to go. I'm going to bring this a bit more further down. I'm going to save. We can see our new agent right here. And it's been given a name Media Agent 6. We're going to rename this to Billy Agent, just so we can recognize it. And we have our prompts right here. So this prompt generates the main copy. This generates the main image and this generates the name. So for the main copy, what we want essentially is to give a quote of what the person said. So we're going to come here, we're going to use this and we're going to tell the agent to return a quote for a social media post. That should be at least max 100 characters long. And we give it some more context and we turn it to return the quote and nothing else make sure to caption this make sure to cut to say it in english and we save now for the main image we want it to generate an image of these dimensions so this is correct Be because this quote will be of a, an important person we want to depict that person in the image frame so we're going to say here, uh, the post will be about a quote of a famous person. Your job is to depict the famous person speaking as realistically as possible. So we're going to save. And then we need to also give the name of that person. So we're going to change the task here to you will receive the article that talks about something an important person said. Your job is to return the name of that important person and we're gonna tell it in the instructions here return only the name and nothing else i'm gonna save now let's go to our home we have found this article that we like about billy eilish 
and let's actually draft with our new Billy agent. And let's see what it will do. So we see here that it generated the Instagram story, Billy agent speaking. If you have money, it would be great to use it for something good. That's amazing. We can download this and now post it in our Instagram. Let's see another example of how this can be used. Let's find another story that would make sense. So here, Trump in Malaysia dancing in a peace deal. This doesn't have a quote, but let's say that we want to capture a quote from the article. We can draft. We can give the Billy agent. And in our drafts, we have the Billy agent. And it says, today we signed a pathway towards peace, as if Trump said it himself. Of course, you can see that here we have the quotes overlapping with the thing and we can come, we can press edit media and we can move them a bit more up to make it more acceptable. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. I hope this was useful and you can now create whatever media agent you want. Thank you very much.